Okay, now sometimes you don't have raw data to run a chi-square. In fact, you may be presented with a cross-tabulation table in a publication or by some other researcher, and you want to run the chi-square test yourself, but you don't have that raw data. Now, you can certainly create uh, the raw data um, simply by inputting one row for each observation. So you'd have to have 13 rows for um, each away and loss game in this example. This is a example of data pulled from the 2016-17 UNF basketball stats. Um, remember that we had um, each row was a game um, and we either lost or won that game and that game was either away or home. So if you wanted to you could create the raw data behind this cross tabulation. You'd have four rows that represent the four winning games that we played away and the ten, ten rows that represent the ten winning games we played at home. Now that gets tedious um, and when these numbers are very large you're creating lots and lots of tables, uh, rows in your table and if you have more than two a 2 by 2 chi-squared, it gets even more complicated. So what I want to show you is how to enter this data in a summarized form and run the chi-squared so you'll get the same results as you would with raw data, um, but it's a lot easier to do. So what I've got here is my data table set up, and you can see we're in variable view, so it's showing me my three variables. I have a win-loss variable, a way-home variable, and a count variable. I've set up my labels so that my outputs will be nice and clean. And you'll notice that I have values for my win-loss and my away home variables. So under win-loss, a 1 equals a win, a 2 equals a loss. And under the away home, 1 is away and 2 is home. All right, so here's my data view. Here's where I'm going to be entering the data that's in this table. Right? And I need to make sure that I have a row that represents each of the four cells in my chi-square. So I'm going to want an away loss and an away win row. And I'm going to want a home loss and a home win row. So if I simply start by entering 1 and 1 and then a 2 and a 2, now I have uh, a win and a uh, two wins and two loss rows, and then I can do a one and a two, and a one and a two. So now I've got a win and an away row. That's a win and an away row. That's going to represent this cell here. This row represents the win home. So here is the win home cell, right? We have a loss away, here's my loss away, and here's my loss home, loss home. So, as you can imagine, we're going to take these counts and we're going to put them in our count field. So for our win away, we had four games where we were away that we won. For our win home, we had ten of those, so I'll put ten in there. For our loss away, thirteen and for our loss home, 5. Okay, So you can see how I'm mirroring in my SPSS data file the data that I have here. I didn't have to put in 13 rows of loss aways. Um, I got them all right here in this row here. Now I can run the chi-squared. Now if I run the chi-squared and I simply choose these two variables, it will run the chi-squared, but it will only treat each of these like it's one observation. What we need to do is tell SPSS to treat this row of loss home as five individual observations. And the way we do that is by going to data and weight cases. And what this does is it tells SPSS, wow, treat this row like there are five of them. Treat this row like there are 13 of them. Treat this row like there are 10 and treat this row like there are four of them. And we're going to simply weight our cases by count and click OK. And my output window pops up and it tells me it's weighting by count. And there's another indicator that I'm weighting by count. And that's down here in the lower right. It says weight on. That's to remind me that I'm weighting this data by the count variable. Okay. If you forget that and then you go and run some other analysis, um, you may get mixed results or screwy results. So it's always good to check that and make sure. 
So we're all set to run that chi-squared, and you just run it like you normally would run a chi-squared. So you're going to go to Analyze, Descriptive Stats, Cross Tabs, and we're going to use our two variables as our row and column. We're going to ask for our chi-squared. We're going to get our observed, our expected, and our adjusted standardized residuals. And we're going to click OK. And here is our results. Here are our results. We got our case processing, 32 games throughout the season. That's about right. I think I've got one postseason game in there. And then we've got uh, four wins that were away, four wins that were at home. And if I go back to my original, that matches. Wins away, 4. Wins at home, 10. Great. So we've got a good chi-squared. It's done what we've told it to do. Here's my Pearson's chi-squared. Here's the chi-squared value. My degrees of freedom are 1, and my p-value is 0.01. Now since my p-value is less than an alpha level of 0.05, I'd say that was my alpha level, I would reject the null hypothesis. The null hypothesis is that there's no association between a game being away or home and whether or not we win, won or lost. So we can reject that. There is a correlation between whether it was a home game or an away game and whether or not we won it. And to see what's driving that, we can look at our residuals. And what we can see here is that all our residuals are have an absolute value greater than 2, or 1.96. And that's telling us that all of them are meaningful in terms of our chi-squared results. And so this negative 2.5 suggests that we had fewer away games that we won than we'd expect through chance alone. So and in fact, we had four away games that we won, but we expected, the chi-squared expects us to have 7.4 in there. Um, vice versa, here we have a 2.5 uh, adjusted residual. That tells me we had more observations in this cell than we expected through chance alone. And in, case, and in this case, we did. We had 10 home games that we won, and uh, that's more than the 6.6 .6 that the chi-squared expects. So the results here are not terribly surprising. We do better um, uh, at home than we would expect, and we do worse when we're away. Um, that's not a, a very uh, surprising result. Uh, but it's a nice, simple uh, illustration of how you can take summarized data like this and run a chi-squared. Uh, if I go ahead and pull that um, original data file up and run that chi-squared, I should get, with the raw data, I should get the exact same results. Um, and so there you go.